Moving on with our login system, I would like to create one last page, the profile page, where we will be editing our users' details. For that, let's first of all, let's do it inside the users controller, as long as it is user related information. So let's create public function profile so, and let's take this views from here let's rename the middle one profile and let's actually copy the register form because it's kind of same register let's make it profile.php view let's change the button to update let's remove already have an account we don't need it now the rest stays the same only the let's change the header the um, the heading and let's make it let's echo out user first name we didn't pass it yet but we will so first name last name okay and now inside the set values we can specify a second parameter which will be the default value for that field so as you can imagine it will be here it will be first name here it will be last name we, we will disable the um, email field because we don't want user to be able to change the field so let's say read only I remove the name attribute as, as you see and we also don't need the set value here because we won't be submitting this let's type email and the password let's leave it blank so validations are in place if we have any errors and now it's time to go back to our users controller uh, sorry to, yeah to our users controller profile method let's take what we already have from our register method so uh, let me see okay let's take this part copy it here and now again we have to check if this is a post request so let's paste it all inside and make some adjustments first of all we have to remove the email field we don't need it from our validation second thing that i would like to do is first of all i would like to check if first name and last name are submitted and then in case he, the user didn't want to change doesn't want to change the password we should not we should not block him and um, create a required rule for our passwords so the only case we will validate the passwords is if this request get post password is not empty so if the password is not empty then we will add these rules so let's make it 
let's extend our rules by adding password let me just paste it here and grab this so if user has typed something inside the password we will apply our rules and let's take this and add it here okay this is good and same goes to so we have the new data here we don't want email we remove the email from here and the same thing we have to do with the new data for the password so let's say again that if if get password if get post password then new data password equals this request get var password so if you are confused about get post get var the difference is that get var will will check all the variables that passed in the request and for the get get variables and for the post variables whether the get post check specifically for the post password so what we could do is just to be sure and let's make the same here and now we don't want just to save the data Actually, if we leave it as it is now, our user model will create a new record. To avoid it, to prevent it from creating a new record and to force it to update the existing one, we should specify the primary key, which we can get from our session get ID. If you remember, when a user is logged in, we have this we have the id inside the session variable so now session uh, no we don't need this and let's say successfully update it and no i don't think that yeah let's redirect because otherwise the um, the flash data will will remain will, uh, will not expire if we just uh, if we'll just continue loading the views so we have to redirect again to profile to itself cool and one thing that we have to do here i think in the star in the beginning of the page let's get the user so we can pass it inside the um, no not in the beginning right here yeah no need before so let's create a data user again we have model do we have this model variable outside? No, we don't have it. So let's specify it outside of our if statement because we use it. Our model new. So if we use it here, we redirect. Yeah, I think we can use it here. So we have model where ID is session get id first so this will be our user that we were using if you remember in our set values 
here, here, here at the top. All that is good. So let's check if we go to profile. Okay, not found. Cool. Of course not found because we have to create our routes. And where we go for our routes, we go here for our routes. So let's just copy paste the register method, the register route, profile, and it is users profile. Let's refresh. Okay, here we go. So let's try just to update it as it is. Email field is required, oh, of course, because the form we submitted to the register form again. So let's go back. Let's go inside our profile view. And let's change the action to profile. Let's refresh and update again. Okay, so undefined variable sessions inside users controller line 131. Users one through one yeah this is how it goes session continue okay let's do it once more so the reason we don't see the success message is because we don't have it inside our view profile view so let's take it from our login where we have done it Let's take this. Let's go again to profile under horizontal line. Bam. Update again and successfully updated. Awesome. So now if we try to change the password, you can see the password confirm field does not match the password field. What makes it, that makes sense, right? And if I go and add new, two new passwords that they, they do match, successfully updated. Perfect. We are almost finished with our login system. The only thing we have to do is to see how we can protect some of our routes so that some routes would be accessed only when the user is authenticated and other routes would be accessed only when user is not authenticated. And let's see how we can do that by using filters in the next video.